Hi guys, how is everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well. So yes, I'm back and I'm here to film a, I don't know how quick this will be, probably not very quick haul. This is going to be my end of summer haul. But yes, that's what I've titled it. It's going to be my end of summer haul. So yeah, so I didn't get any of this stuff like in one go. Um, Yes, yeah, so I've just collected a whole bunch of stuff and uh, this is basically what I want to show you. So if you're interested in seeing what I've been up to and getting in the past few weeks, then yeah, keep watching. If you watched my, I think it was my July favourites video, um, you would have found out that I went to Paris for a few days. I visited Sephora, naturally, in fact I visited probably about four different Sephora's, four to five different Sephora's um, in Paris. But yeah, I went to Sephora and my bag is all beaten up because I had to bring it back in my suitcase. Um, and I just wanted to quickly show you what I bought. We don't have Sephora here in the UK. We used to have Sephora, but it closed many years ago and I don't know why. I've been hearing um, a lot of people talk about the Sephora lip creams or lip stains, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I just picked up three of them and these are the three that I picked up and this one is number 10 Mandarin Muse and um, it's just like a orangey red shade and um, I got this one which is in number six pink souffle and that's what that looks like and this one I'm gonna hazard a guess and say this one is the marvelous mauve one I think that's what it's called and they're okay I mean I don't know if I'm that impressed by them, to be honest, um, but I'm not, you know, raving about them, but they are okay. And I also picked up two foundations, and this is really what I wanted to get from um, Paris anyway. But um, the first one is this, which is the Black Up, um, new Black Up Mattifying Fluid Foundation. And I picked it up in the shade number 14. And it's actually what I'm wearing today. I actually really like this, guys. If you want me to do like a video showcasing this or showing you me applying this, then let me know. Give me a thumbs up and let me know because um, this is what it looks like on me. And I think it looks really, really nice. I also picked up because this is what I really wanted to pick up because when I went, this wasn't out in the UK yet. So I was kind of like, well, that's why I want to get it in Paris. But it's the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Um, now, I've already got a review of the older one, um, the first one, the original foundation. Um, I've already got that up on my channel, so I'll put a link in this video, or I'll put the link down below as well, so you can check that out. Um, it's kind of grown on me the more I've used it, but I'm still, it's still not my like top holy grail foundation, like a lot of people claim it is for them. Um, but I haven't even tried this Ultra HD, so again, if you want me to try the Ultra HD foundation and give you my own thoughts on this, then let me know. I will do that for you, but let me know by giving me a thumbs up as well, or write me a comment in the description box as well, letting me know that that's what you want to see in particular. I got it in the shade R510, which is the old shade number 175, and um, it kind of tells you what the old shade is and what that now equates to in the new shade. And I also picked up these Sephora masks because I hear loads of people talking about them, and I just wanted to see like what they were about. So I got it in the Sephora, no, in, in Mask Rose, which is supposed to be an ultra, moist, ultra moisturizing and brightening mask. And I also got the mattifying and anti-blemish mask in the green tea um, version. That was it really from Sephora. Uh, I really only went there for key items because a lot of the other stuff I could actually get in the UK. Okay, now I went to Debenham and I picked up some more foundations. Guys, I'm just, I don't know, I'm a foundation junkie. Um, I picked up the Studio Fix Fluid and the Pro Longwear one, which is over there. I'm in the shade NW45. Now, I haven't used the Studio Fix Fluid just because I didn't know it didn't come with a pump. Like, I didn't know that. Um, and then I also picked up from Debenhams a MAC palette. And this, I've never had a MAC, any MAC eyeshadows ever. Um, so I thought I would kind of go into it slowly and I know I, I picked up these which are the the small ones and it's the Burgundy Times 9 palette that I picked up. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to playing around with these. But 
I'm sure you guys already know the quality of MAC eyeshadows, you know, I don't really need to say much, but that's just some of them swatched right there, and that's them there. Okay, so the next product I picked up was from Urban Decay, and it was, well, it is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. But that is what it looks like, and yeah, I'm loving it. Um, I don't really have any other, I mean, I have one other Naked Palette, which is the first one, the original one, um, and that's it. I didn't invest in any of the other ones just because I don't even use the first one that much. But I really like the shade in this. Um, I really thought that these darker shades were really, really nice. And the golden shades I thought could, I could work with as well. So this is a palette that I thought I could use quite often. It's like, I really like the packaging of this. It is, it is um, what do you call it, magnetic. So yeah, it just closes by itself like that. And it's quite a sturdy palette as well. So yeah, really, really liking it. Haven't used it yet, to be honest. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying it out. So yeah, um, I've got one here and I've got one here. Yeah, yeah, your girl went to buy two. I am planning my giveaway when I reach my next milestone on YouTube. Um, so yeah. Come on guys, let's get us to that milestone so I can give someone, got a whole bunch of exciting stuff that I'm building up as well to give away. And that's the only giveaway reveal I'm going to give. Okay, so you guys would have already seen that I did um, a video on this and it's just my Laura Geller Baked Gelato Highlight and Blusher, which I can't even find right now. But I've done a whole video reviewing these products so if you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. I'll put the link down below and in this video as well. Make sure you check this out because yeah, this is one of my faves. Um, really, really loving them. Like, like, look at that. Look at that highlight. Seriously, guys, like, can you see that? This is the one in Gilded Honey, by the way. Okay, so sticking with highlights, I join beauty swap groups and beauty chats and beauty rooms on like Facebook. And, and um, one of the things that I recently got from one of those sites is this, which is the limited edition, uh, the, the, the limited edition Becca Champagne Gold, not Champagne Pop. No, you thought I was going to say Champagne Pop. So I got this highlight from a girl on one of these Facebook groups, and um, she'd only swatched it, and I could definitely tell she just swatched it like there. But she's very fair, and so it didn't suit her skin tone. So I got it for a reduced price and it's limited edition so yeah i just thought i'll show you that so that's the one i picked up um it is gorgeous and that's it there beautiful and i'll just swatch it underneath gilded honey but can you see it it is that's it there it is gorgeous um next to gilded honey it is more it's like more yellow but it is beautiful but i have to say like their, their, you know, their powders are very, very fine, like very finely milled. Um, so they're very soft um, on your skin, gorgeous. Okay, so sticking with Becca, um, I believe on cultbeauty.co.uk, um, they also stock Becca highlighters. And I picked up the highlight in Topaz. I don't really hear many people talk about Topaz. And Topaz, I'd say, is definitely suitable for deeper skin tones. And that's what it looks like there. It's more of like a bronzy gold kind of shade. You can see all three highlights on me. Um, and Topaz, which is the one right here at the bottom, is definitely more of like a of a bronze kind of shade, but I think it just looks really gorgeous. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these out. Okay, so I went on to eBay and, um, or was it eBay or Amazon? I can't remember where, but I think it might've been Amazon actually. And um, I just picked up this, which is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette because I just hear loads of people talking about it and I just thought it would be an easy palette for me to use. Um, and I've been using it actually. I've used it in a few of my videos um, recently. And I just really, really like this palette. Like, I know why people hype about these Wet n Wild eyeshadows now. Um, but yeah, I'm just really in love with this Comfort Zone palette. Um, I really, really like this this shade here. I'm not sure what the shade is called. Can you see that? That's it right there. It's like a dupe for one of the MAC eyeshadows. I can't remember which one. But um, yeah, I love, love, love this. And I think this was like five pounds or something online so really affordable okay so you guys would have recently seen that i also went to h&m and i picked up a whole bunch of beauty products from h&m if you want to see what's inside this bag that i picked up make sure you check out my video i'll put the link down below for the video but uh, make sure you check it out because 
yeah, I picked up a whole stuff to review from H&M. I also went online, I think on Cult Beauty again, and I picked up this Coco Blend palette from um, Zoeva. And guys, I, I don't know why I've been sleeping on Zoeva. I think quite a few people sleep on Zoeva. I don't know why, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I have used this palette so much. Like recently, I've just been using this palette. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. These two I use like literally nearly every day as my transition shade. Um, love these like coppery gold kind of shades. Every, like every shade, I use this shade once I've set, once I've put an eyeshadow primer, I just use that to dust over my primer. Like this whole palette I just use. I'm using this palette today actually to do my eyes today. Um, but it's just gorgeous. Like I don't even, I don't even understand like and that's just some of the colors swatch can you see how pigmented it is look those three shadows right at the bottom if you haven't got this eyeshadow palette I would definitely recommend this one it is I just really love it so anyway that is the Zoeva Cocoa Blend I've never had a Zoeva palette before but impressed so probably we'll look into getting other ones from the same Facebook group that I got the Becca highlighter I also picked up some Colourpop stuff and if you haven't seen my video on the ColourPop lippy sticks, I will link that below for you. But apart from the lippy sticks, I've never had any other ColourPop items. So I, I mean, I wasn't 100% impressed with lippy sticks personally. I don't really reach for them that much to be honest. So, and I got this for like really cheap. The first one that I got from this lady was the um, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Flamingo, which is like a blue. And that's what Flamingo looks like. That's it swatched right at the bottom there. Not sure what you can see. I managed to pick up the Colourpop Metamorphosis palette from, um, what's her name? Coffee Break with Danny. Someone was selling this for a lot cheaper than I would have to get it if I was to buy this abroad. So it comes with four shadows, three shimmer shades and one matte. But I think her theme for this is Transformers. So I think what you're supposed to be able to do is put the shimmer, some of the shimmer ones onto matte and or onto any other shade and it kind of transform your shadow. This one, which I have been using is the Kindness one and it is beautiful. It actually reminds me of that Wet n Wild shadow that I just swatched. Um, yeah, I think these are nice and I can definitely see why people would hype about them because they're the texture, the formula, the whole thing is a bit different, isn't it? So liking that. I picked up some stuff from um, this company called Cake Cosmetics. If you've never heard of Cake, they're a UK based company um, and they're targeting or they marketed more towards deeper skin tones. So I, I actually really like their stuff. I haven't really talked about them much on my channel, but I do like their stuff. So I did pick up some more of their items. I did get some items before. And I picked up this, um, what do you call it? This blusher in the shade Curvy, which is a nice one. And that's what I'm using today, actually. I picked up two of their concealers. I picked it up in N10, which is a cool, cool neutral concealer. And it just matches me perfectly. This concealer, guys, like, I will show you me using it one day, but if you guys have ever seen me do a get ready with me with no makeup up, you would know that I get a hyperpigmentation under my eyes and that's my problem area really. Apart from that, I don't really care, like my skin's fine. But this guys, like I can just put this on and get walk out the door. Like seriously, this matches my skin so well. I'm an NW45, so if you're not sure what I am, but yeah, love, love, love this concealer and the consistency is great. It just works really nicely. Um, and their concealer, this is like five pounds or something. And sometimes on their website, um, they actually give a concealer away for free. So when you make a purchase. So yeah, definitely look into Kate Cosmetics. And this one is one of their most popular ones, which is C8. And it's actually, I think it's called butterscotch is it good for like medium skin tones but i just bought it for like to brighten up underneath my eyes um gorgeous gorgeous shade it's a warm yellow kind of concealer beautiful beautiful shade this is definitely one that um, is very popular on their website so if you ever want to check it out um just check it out and like i said i think they're like five pounds so so affordable and their custom service is great and i picked up their foundation and this is what their foundation comes in um it's a cream foundation and it just looks like that now i'm not i'm not really a fan of these types of foundation 
but I have to say the coverage is actually really good and it does last quite nicely on it works really nice and I have been using it actually for the past week I went on to beauty crowd and I just picked up um, two of their darker um, conceal concealers in the LA girl pro conceal range and I picked up the toast and the one in espresso and sticking with foundation i picked up this today guys i went to super drugs this is the rimmel london match perfection um foundation in 12 different shades so they had all 12 stocked and uh, yeah so i picked this up it is in the shade deep mocha which is the darker shade and when i swatched it it, it blended into my skin perfectly the, you know it's the match perfection foundation so i guess that's why this comes in bronze mocha and deep mocha for deeper skin tones so definitely check it out and it was only seven pounds 99 and it's supposed to be 24 hours if you want to see me do a video reviewing this then give me a thumbs up i probably will anyway to be honest with you but I was so excited about this. I went to, again, I went to visit um, TK Maxx the other day. So I picked up two of these lip glosses and they are the Stila Stay All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss. And I picked it up in the shade Merlot, which is like this dark plum ready kind of color. And this shade here, which is Terracotta. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. So I just picked up these two gorgeous like can you see how pigmented that is really um excited that i got these for three pounds 99 like you can't go wrong can you i picked up two of the steeler eyeshadows in rose quartz which is like just this purple shimmery shade in this shade which i was so excited about that i found which is um in pigal pigal pigali i don't even know but it's just like this maroon deep maroon shade which is definitely my kind of eyeshadow shade then i picked up this smashbox um blusher and highlighter yeah duo in the shade supermodel and this was four pounds i think um from tk maxx so very impressed with that and then the last thing from tk maxx that i picked up was this cargo cosmetics palette which guys look at that um, and that's what it looks like inside. I think this was £10, so I thought that was really good. So I went to Boots and I picked up this colour tattoo in the shade Creamy Beige. Gosh, I can't read. Um, but yeah, it just looks like that. And I just thought this would be nice as a base for my eyeshadow, which I've been using recently. So yeah, I just thought this was good. I might have to get another one because I actually really, really like this and I can see that I will end up finishing this. So yeah, if you're not into spending lots on like a MAC paint point, paint point, paint pot eyeshadow base, then um, definitely try getting your hands on one of these Maybelline um, creamy beige ones because I th Okay, so if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably noticed that I'm not really one to wear false eyelashes, um, but I'm trying to get more adventurous and try them out. So I have been wearing some in some of my previous videos recently, but I went on to shopmissa.com and um, it's an American website and they sell these Cara lashes um, for one dollar each they've got a whole bunch of lashes but i picked up the cara ones they've got so many so many so many different types of lashes in this cara range but they're all one dollar each so i picked up how many did i pick i think i picked up like 20 packets of different ones they have wispies they have demi wispies they have short they have long they have thick like they have, they have everything but one thing i wanted to say about these was actually i was really impressed i mean i don't wear lashes but I have worn them in the past and I have um, hated wearing them because the band was too heavy or the lashes themselves felt too uncomfortable. These are so light on, like, these are so light. You don't even feel like you're wearing anything. Um, I do think some of them are a bit long for me personally um, because I'm not used to wearing lashes. So yeah, I've had to trim them and spoil a few of them to be honest. Um, but if you are looking for some affordable lashes, then definitely check this out. Like I said, I bought 20 and that was like $20. And I think, and then I paid shipping, which really isn't that much as well. So I think I ended up paying like, 18 pounds no yeah including shipping either like 17 or 18 pounds including shipping for 20 packets of 
eyelashes like really yeah like i said to you earlier i did a color pop um swatch video for these color pop lippy sticks um but this is where i've recently been storing my lippy sticks i don't really reach for these to be honest but i wanted somewhere to store them and forget the lippy sticks i'm talking about this i love 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 this these are um just what do you call them ornaments from asda um if you go to their homeware area you'll find these and i use this for so much like i've got these and i've got the taller ones um i use the taller ones for my brushes and i use these for like pencils like these um guys and they just look so good because my theme kind of is like silver um so yeah i've just been loving it and it's like cracked glass kind of effect as well on there so yeah i just thought i'll show you that this is like three pounds as well so not not um too bad for what it is i could not resist not telling you about this but i was recently watching someone like big on youtube i can remember her i'll put her name down below or in the video because i can't but she was talking about her bags that she um recently got and um she picked she was mentioning these bags and they're from chloe ward and she said that she got them on ebay i think it is but they do have their own website and they're a uk based company but i just thought i'll show you so i picked up one of these and i picked it up from ebay um in the shade navy and it just is gorgeous like i still haven't even opened it up um it is so gorgeous it's you know really really great inside as well really spacious um it comes with like an extra strap as well beautiful and it's got some pockets and stuff inside but it just looks really 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 pretty so i thought i'd show you that and i think this was like 16 pounds i think so really really affordable thought i'd mention that to you so i picked one of those up and also they come in like these dust bags when you order from them so great really really good and then i also picked up this one which i am in love with um and i just haven't used it yet but i picked up this which is the same chloe ward bag um company sorry but it just comes in like this maroon kind of shade and it has like a compartment here at the front like so and then you open up the zip and then it has a compartment it has two pockets here can you see that so it's got two pockets there it's got one compartment there it's got one in the middle compartment and then it's got the other side and then it's got an inside compartment there gorgeous like i just saw this i was like really and i think this was oh gosh maybe this would have been 12.99 or 16 pounds as well i can't remember but just for the price i just think these are so affordable and it also comes with oh gosh i don't want to get makeup in this one this one also comes with um a strap as well if you wanted to but i don't tend to use these straps but it comes with the strap as well so i thought i'd mention this and it just has like the um like a just a tree logo on it there and the bottom which i really really love about this bag as well is that it comes with the studs on the bottom which i appreciate in handbags so yeah i i have i have loved these bags i thought i'd mention these to you i'll put the link down below to where i got them okay guys thank you so much for watching this video hopefully that was useful um or whatever i know you guys like my haul videos so hence why i decided to again film another one because you guys did say i should film it um but yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video take care see you soon bye ciao so that is actually